Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm Afrology. Let's hit um, pause button. Um, I installed, um, off camera, I just installed one more mod, uh, well, two more mods, technically. The guy who, the, the guy behind the um, train DLC has released uh, a series of mods, which you can get off of Steam Nexus. I'm not sure if they're available elsewhere, to be honest, I didn't look. Anyways, these mods are, first one that I installed was the, um, installed a patch for the train, a train patch. So I installed that, and then I installed uh, a mod that makes it so the trains, rather than being able to, like, you can store like 300 uh, of each unit, it actually put a cap on each wear to prevent them from uh, overfilling. So I installed that, and it help, it makes it so much easier to move things around in the underground. And you can actually set the, and it actually keeps the desired amounts proper. And if it gets anything over that, it tries to shift things around to make sure everything's equal. In my, in my personal save, I've actually been using that to distribute resources underground, and it actually works fairly well. And even the, um, I even did some testing when I was underground. The life support transit thing also works fairly well. So you can actually use the um, trains to move like oxygen and water around, which is kind of handy underground when you have remote oh excuse me remote domes not near water deposits so that you can exactly that you can supply domes that don't have nearby things with water by shipping it from domes that do have water or from say elevators without having to put huge pipe networks everywhere instead of huge train networks everywhere though is the offset to that anyways um evidence against dark matter most recent observations, but we found evidence against the existence of dark matter and in support of an entirely different model, uh, a different model of gravity. Our current model for gravity doesn't fully explain the speed at which we see galaxies rotate, indicating there is a lot of mass missing, which is where dark matter comes in. Yet different models of gravity solve this differently, and recent observations confirm one of these may be a better model for physics. Our community of scientists is in disarray, unsure of which model of gravity to keep using. What do you do, Commander? Um. Ooh, what do we want? Um, this is the more generically helpful one, because I'm not sure if we're researching. Is my control... Oh, my joystick's on is what's going on. That's why we're getting that, that, that pop-up. Uh, signal boosters. That is... Above and... Be that's the... That's not... Uh, that's expansion and recon. So, yeah, let's use the new model. Yeah, because we're using signal boosters to get longer range. So where? All right, you go back up there and start pounding, get working on that. Oh right, our aging population. And so we're doing quite well. We've got grass. We are about. Have we researched resilient vegetation? Yes, we have. Um, we should start thinking about getting some trees and bushes to plant. There we have fuel. We have plenty of fuel for now. Now yeah, we're waiting for the mystery log to progress. All right, I was going to. Um, There we go, that's taken care of. We've got some ESO Corp rewards. Resources are low. Oh right, metals. Metal consumption is twelve, seventeen. We're only producing eighteen. Yeah, we need more metal income. Right, that's why I wanted the um, range extenders. 
because I was going to build some, uh, let's see, what do we have? Do we have, oh yeah, we have advanced sterling generator, so I actually build an advanced sterling generator down here and power these underground metal deposits. On the other hand, it might be more effective to build a train out there. Yeah, because we don't have... Uh, the issue is we don't have the population for uh, a lot of things. So, yeah, we're going to stick with these automated metal extractors. And we're going to start using them to get these materials. Research complete. Ooh, signal boosters. Perfect. And then we're going to start researching adapted vegetation. Oh, something I didn't realize that I only realized the other day in my private save is there's now a way to cure renegades of the renegade flaw. Um, it does require you to have the... Um, let's go underground. Because can't, I can't exactly remember its name. Uh, where is it? Right, it's up here. You you need the Jumbo Cave Reinforcement, because the Jumbo Cave Reinforcement unlocks spires underground, and eventually it also unlocks the ability to upgrade most of the... Uh, I think most, if not all, of the spires, and the spire upgrade for the Sanatorium provided by the Jumbo Cave it allows the, the Sanatorium to treat renegades. That, that, not, that's going to be helpful for us, because... Once again, we've already chosen to start with Rebel Yell, without Yell, Rebel Yell. Okay, we, we have two of these. It might almost be worth it to start researching that as well, though. At least we have lots of science. Actually, do we have enough electronics for another high-speed comm satellite? A hundred electronics. Oh, the issue is we don't have enough metal. We don't have enough fuel to put out. Uh... Yeah, we need more metal, basically. That's what it's boiling down to. So let's slap an amplify on that just to get more metal. Let us get a range extender, actually. What's the best place to locate you? And time for another auto once that's built. Automatic metal extractor. We have the polymer. So yeah, let's slap down an advanced sterling generator up here. Right now. And then we can amplify that as well. We are going to need more drones. Do we have the ability to make drones yet? I have researched drone printing, so we should get that getting... We should start getting... Oh, we, okay, there it is. I already built one. There. <laughs> Um, I'm going to need to, after adaptive vegetation, we're going to research nuclear fusion and then internal fusion so we can have lots and lots of power. Right. 
Right. Don't really want you. So, ban an asteroid. Resources are low. Oops. Are any of you guys working? No, so I need to <laughs> I need to pay more attention to my rovers. Uh, it contains exotic minerals, rare metals, and water. Nargoth, we should actually we should visit that asteroid. So let us set. Visit Nargoth. Visit. Right, we're not going to need any of this because we're not building anything, we're just going to use the driller. Actually, we're not going to send the explorer up first, we're going to explore, send the transport, the driller, and four drones. Because that will give us more metals, because we seem to be still short on metals. The nice thing about using the advanced sterling generator is it'll, yeah, we're going to be able to amplify that. Uh, the generator. Oh yeah, we're not taking the generator. So I was gonna. Say, I was about to think we we're, we're gonna generator might not have time, but it's gonna have time. I'm not happy that they're hanging around my base so much, the Isocorp rovers. Do I want to extend my way down? Actually, you know, rather than extending my um, using range extenders, we're going to build a little drone down here, down here, because I want to take advantage of these water deposits as well for lakes. If I build you there, can you cover most of things? No, I'm going to build you down here, so you can cover the tunnel. Oh, crap. Um. Oh, I need to pay more attention to these guys. Uh, no, not a rocket. Supply pod. Let us buy four of them, launch it, we'll land the supply pod down there and use the supply pod to repair things. As I needed, <laughs> both of my drone commander units are done. Ooh, Oort Cloud. We've managed to confirm the existence of the Oort Cloud. For a long time, the Oort Cloud was only hypothesized to exist, but even though it was considered likely, we had no concrete proof. The cloud is mainly made up of icy planetesimals and is believed to be the origin for many, if not all, Haley-type comets in our inner solar system. This discovery solidifies our view of our own solar system, and we are one step closer again to unraveling the secrets of the universe. In acknowledgement of our efforts, our sponsors are asking us how they can best support us in making further decisions. Um... We don't need money, we need research points, and we can't bring the scientists back, so it's that, just that one. It's our only real option.
Now we should bring a true. <laughs> let's 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 sacrifice another uh, rover over for to that mess over there. Send the transport over so when we drop the uh, uh, supply pot, it can pick up the metal. Uh, where do we put our waste rock depots for this guy? Oh, okay. It's getting all sent away. Cold wave approaching. Oh boy. Come on, let me select you. There we go. There. Oh, it actually protected all its drones. Beautiful. There we go, another half a million. No, uh, half a billion, sorry, not half a million. Get you down here now. Research complete. Nice vehicle weight optimization. Now every time, now we don't have to worry about vehicle weights when launching them. You know what? Let's hold off on that. Are there any more techs we can do to increase our research capacity? Ooh, we can amplify. All right, we were gonna. We were eventually gonna get mega domes because I want to build my uh, dystopian nightmare city. Funding received. Eventually, we're gonna want to expand up here as well. Actually, can we build lakes yet? Have I researched that tech? I have. Yeah, there's nothing down here I really need asides from the... Uh, Oh, the metal refinery and the carbonite reflector is... It's nice. Our, our waste rock is actually going down, not up. Because let's have a look here. Waste rock's consumption's at 40, production's at 33. That's pretty damn good. Nano refinement is active. Our, we don't have to worry about deposits running out anymore. We might. I might not end up building the mole hole. Well, I'm going to build it for completion's sake. But we might not actually need it, depending on how we do with our metal income from automated things. So... Actually, that'll be helpful as well. Because then we need less colonists running our farms. Really? How far did you get? You didn't... Oh my god! You didn't get out of there? Oh god. Alright, you over here. Oh, actually, no, you made it up to the top of the hill. That's as far as you got. Wow. So what do we want to activate first? Oh, it doesn't really matter. They're all very low. Mm 
You know, a solar array may be more effective down here. Yeah, let's build a solar array. Because this is going to be a metal production thing, so it's only going to really need concrete imported. Because it's not going to need electronics, it's not going to need fuel. Uh, we'll let, let it hold on to seeds. It's not definitely not going to need food. Metals, concrete. There's going to be no rare metals needed. Um, I don't plan on building anything down here that requires polymers. Oh wait, I lied. Research complete. Uh, th this guy is going to require polymers. Ooh, automated storage. That's handy. Veg Let's increase vegetation growth after that, because once we have adapted vegetation... Yeah, we need to know how much... Or actually, we're going to need more water no matter what. Oh, that's why it hasn't launched yet. I was using the driller. Let's turn this on before I forget. Just enough. There we go. We got enough metal. Oh, and of course, let's upgrade the photovoltaics. Wait. I, I was going to say, are we are we right in the middle of the meteor storm? But no, we're not. All right, we definitely are going to need polymers down here to upgrade our metal extractors. So let's build another one. Oh, don't care. Oh, we've arrived. Anomaly found. Ooh, this one's actually pretty good. Oh, we are going to need our explorer eventually. Metals, exotic minerals, and polymers. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I want to land this guy, deploy the rovers, send this thing back to Earth for the um, Explorer. So return to Mars. Don't take any RC vehicles. And... And request. What's going on down here? Okay, we don't care about any of that. Meteor shower incoming.
Marsgate. the whistle on Isocorp's dealings, and every news agency on Earth sunk their teeth right in. This ought to be interesting. So, governments and international organizations are furious with Isocorp subterfuge and forbidden military experiments, and people are fast to dub the scandal Marsgate. As the blame game is unraveling, we can't help but notice that all channels Isocorp barely used to communicate with us have now been totally taken offline. Our sponsors from Earth are promising us compensation and guaranteeing protection from Isocorp, but we fear they may not be able to help fast enough if Isocorp decides to take revenge. Um, that this being said, you will have to take part in an upcoming UN trial as the main witness to this whole gruesome affair. All right, now that that's active, it is time to start building a lake. Now, of course, we're gonna go for the biggest one possible down here. I could attach moisture vap evaporators to the lake, but I really don't like... It doesn't make sense to me that you can use moisture evaporators to draw at water from the atmosphere to pump it Anomaly back found. out into a lake. It just seems like it wouldn't actually impact the atmosphere, putting put any moisture out into the atmosphere. Now we're going to need one more of these. Turn you off because we're not going to have enough power to keep you going. Oh, we also don't have enough power for you. Ah, broken. Nice. And the nice plus side, these things can't uh, freeze. Has that drone been moved? Yes, it has. Okay, I was wrong. We need, before we can do that, we need more power. So let's do fusion reactors and auto rate and eternal fusion. Now, you know what we need up here? Large dumping site. And I might actually build a metal refiner. Did I lose you again? Oh, no, I just never claimed you. Can't wait for the Isocorp uh, story to continue. <laughs> There's a nice little tech you get near the end of it that more than makes up for... Um... There we go. Domeless farming. We can now build open farms. We're not going to do that quite yet, though. Uh, we're gonna need more drones, aren't we? What? Okay, that happened. Can I build command drones yet? 
I don't think so. I might just build another uh, RC generator. Where is my transport? Marsgate, the trial of the century. The UN trial is about to start. You can guarantee they're all hot under the collar. Joining the legal proceedings against the entity known as Isocorp by satellite link is the head of the Mars Colony Project, as a representative of Paradox Interactive and the main victims in Marsgate. Other than the total disregard of international interplanetary treaties, the treaties which are in place to discourage the militarization of any human endeavors in space are held to be of utter importance by all present parties, except the defendants and thus the transgression is seen as most grievous. Because communications with Mars is not at its peak at this time and it will take too long for a proper discussion, know that our sponsor have shared your overall stance on the whole affair. Still, as the final verdict draws near, we have decided it is best if you say in your own words the implications of Isocorp's secretive and illegal military testing operations on Mars. Um, yeah, humanity can do better. It's time for humanity to come to grips with the fact that violence only breeds more violence. And that's exactly what we told them. Isocorp put the lives of people who, who, bra oh, who brave an unforgiving world in the name of humanity in danger with nothing more than the profit in, oh, with nothing more than profit in mind. A harsh verdict today will stand as a testament to humanity reaching the maturity needed to spread amidst the stars. Are you launched yet? No. Oh, you don't have a destination set. And an explorer. Oh, are all our explorers underground? Yes, they are. Oh, I know why we have prior issues. It's because of the subsurface heaters are drawing too much power. There. That should be more than enough power for the uh, this little operation we got going. Of course. Oh, of course. Um, once the cold wave is over, the drones from this drone depot might be, uh, drone hub might be in, might have enough range to get there. All right, it's not putting out enough water. There's an easy fix for, easy fix for that once the cold wave is over, but we'll set it up anyways. Because this thing's only putting out seven water, and the thing will only accept it in bursts of ten. Basically, what you got to do is you build a water tower, and then when the water tower has ten saved up, it just pumps it out into the lake. We're not going to let that finish quite yet, because we're going to have to immediately repair it, because it's immediately going to freeze. And what we're going to build up here is we're just going to make a tiny little lake. Just a tiny one. 
Just like that. Not quite yet, though. Oh, we, yeah, we lost, what, 14 drones or something like that, so that's going to put us at 13. There. Oh, we have unemployed. Why do we have unemployed? Besides from the obvious. So, anything we can turn, any shifts we can turn on? Huh. Apparently not. So what do we still need more of? We need a mega dome. So let's bump that up. We're going to deal with a little bit of a homeless before I start building a mega dome. But we can get no, we can't move down there quite yet because I need to terraform that. Actually, anomaly found. Resources are low. Uh, it's Narkoth is the asteroid we want to go to. Yep, Narkath, Yep. There. We'll come back for that. When he, when, he, when he returns, we'll send him back. Oh, cold wave's over. And there we go. Once it's fully charged, we'll send him up and see if he has the range for our maintenance in the RC generator. Oh, that needs to get turned on. And now, if we watch, see? It's pumped up just a little. Just a little at a time. Enough it'll slow it'll slowly fill up. Now is the drone Oh yeah, the drone made it. Those poor drones. Oh, and he's going to make it. Oh, he'll, he'll even make it back. He's just under halfway. Nice. Oh, so this episode's running a little long. I'll end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll probably be getting fairly close to wrapping up Marsgate. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.